Hello and Guru Scott. On this video I'm going to explain how to change your radiator fluid on your BMW F650 GS twin. This would also apply to F700 twins and F800. First thing you're going to do is take off this top cover here and then you're going to remove the side. So the top cover has four bolts in it plus two on the steering stem and the side has a bolt here, one underneath and one in the front and then a couple other bolts also, the turn signal, you're either going to have to disconnect or take some wire ties, sort of move this cover out of the way, and just wire tie it in place, which is what I did. So you're going to get all that done, and then I'm going to show you how what you're going to do next. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to drain your radiator. I actually rode my motorcycle for about uh, 30 minutes. Then I let it cool down for about 45 minutes, and I took off the radiator cap, which is located under here. It's easy to get to when you have this cover off. And as soon as you do that, radiator fluid is going to pour out. So I had a container down at the bottom to catch it. And the next thing I did was I took a pair of pliers and took this lower hose loose just right here at the bottom of the radiator. And the water poured out. So that was a significant portion of my fluid. And I caught as much as I could in a drain pan. Some of it's going to go all over the floor, so you have to be real careful. While I'm over here, I want to show you also, this is your water pump bleed screw and I'll explain more about that in a minute but first we'll go around to the other side and I'll show you the other hose I took loose on this side here we have the heat exchanger down here and these lines come from the radiator down to the heat exchanger and actually from the water pump down here so I couldn't get to the bottom line easily without taking all of these uh, engine protection bars and things off so I just took the top one loose and be aware that it has a rubber o-ring that goes with it so I took it loose and gently pulled it out and all sorts of water came out. I caught it in my catch bucket. So once that was all out, I cleaned it up, put the rubber um, O-ring back on or rubber seal and reinserted it. And I actually used some medium strength Loctite because when I took it loose, I found that it was almost totally loose. I could just turn it by hand. It was kind of weird. I'm surprised it wasn't leaking. So I got that done. So now at this point, everything in the system was pretty much drained, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do next. I've reinstalled um, the bottom hose here after I took all the liquid out of the uh, where the heat exchanger is. So now the system's basically all sealed back up except for the radiator cap. So at this point I poured some half and half mixture in and I'm going to break away and show you what that mixture consists of, so hang on a second. So what you're going to do to make your solution is you're going to make a 50-50 mix. So I use genuine BMW antifreeze coolant. And then this is purified water. It's not distilled and not deionized. You don't want to use distilled or deionized. But purified water has the mineral content reduced. So that way you won't get mineral buildup in your system. But it also won't leach out the system. So you're going to mix these 50-50 and pour it into the radiator fill area and then I will explain what you do next. Well, at this point, what I did was I filled the radiator all the way to the top of the fill area, and then I squeezed these lines to try to push some of the air out as much as I could. And then I took this bleeder screw a little bit loose and let some liquid come out, and then I reinserted it because in the fill area of the radiator, it dropped way down to below this level. So, um, I topped it back up and started it and let it run for a couple of minutes and I repeated the process of bleeding, filling, bleeding, filling, you know, and running it in between. I did that about eight times to get all the air out. If you don't get air out, this becomes cavitated and what happens is you get a little bit of air trapped in here and not only can it not pump the water efficiently, but it gets air bubbles trapped in there and those cause the impeller blades to get damaged over time because it's a big shock to them to hit the air bubbles versus the liquid going around and around. So you want to make sure you get all the air out of here again by purging here. Once you've filled up the neck area of the radiator, repurging till the liquid comes out, you get all the air out, do that about eight or nine times and then running every couple of times in between. And the interesting thing is this had to have been cavitated from the dealer because now my machine runs one notch cooler on the temperature gauge it runs exactly at the normal mark, no higher, no lower. So it runs perfectly. 
So it's been running great. I'm real happy with this and that's all there is to this. So I walked you through it because the BMW um, shop manual tells you a different method and there's been some discussions on the forums about how it creates cavitation here in a pump and there's been some bulletins out on it and I decided to try it myself to see what would be the best way. So I found this worked for me perfectly. So hope it works for you. Good luck. Tschüss.